hey, my name is Matt McQuality. I compete every day to show my kids that an athlete doesn't have to just perform on ESPN. This is the Everyday Competitor Podcast. Each episode features people just like you, winning in their career, workouts, and life just like you want to, all because they've chosen to compete every day. Here's your host, Compete Every Day founder, Jake Thompson. Jake Thompson. Matt, welcome to the show. Hey, thanks. Man, glad to have you today. So, introduce the community to who you are, where you're at right now in the world, uh, and a little bit about yourself. All right. So, my name is Matt McQuality. I live outside, right outside of Cleveland, Ohio. 35 years old, uh, two boys, a wife. I'm a CFO at an interior design architecture firm. And yeah, hitting the gym every day, fitness, nutrition, fanatic, man. I love it. I love it. So how long have you been kind of it when it was, we'll start this question over. How long have you been in and around uh, the compete community and brand and message? Oh, I don't know. I, you know, I don't know how I found or came across the shirts, the brand initially, but I mean, it seems like every new release pre-order, I'm like, holy cow, that one's awesome. You know, I, I love that one. Um, even the, the collaborations, man, the last one with the, uh, kids shouldn't have cancer, the gym we go to here and that my boys are involved in, they do a lot for uh, childhood, like brain cancer and things like that. So foundation. So that, I mean, they all just speak perfectly. Awesome. Well, I'm glad to hear that, man. Yeah. We've got a lot of exciting things coming, uh, that's now kind of in the new year, this airing in 2019. Uh, so there's a lot of cool things that, that everyone's checking in now, but Man, I've got to know, what does it mean to you to compete every day? All right, so for me to compete, I'm just, I'm going out there against myself, man. I mean, I'm in the gym, you know, maybe we're not, you know, trying to set a PR, I'm trying to beat everybody, you know, there's not a true competition out there, but I want to win, you know, I'm playing to win, it's more fun definitely to win, and I am out there to show my boys that you don't have to, I don't have to be LeBron. I don't have to be the guy on ESPN that to be an athlete, you know, to show them that they don't have to make millions of dollars to really be that athlete. I love it. I love it. So obviously your, your boys are a huge part of your life example for them. Have you always had kind of this approach and mindset to, to push yourself and be your best self from like day one? Or is this something you've had to learn or change throughout life? No, so I've always I've always been in team sports. So I played baseball through college. Um, once I got out, just didn't really have that outlet, I guess, for that athletic competition. Uh, did a couple marathons. I did Cleveland and Chicago, and the Chicago one, I guess, is the prime example of competing and pushing myself. Uh, it was 07 marathon. They canceled it because of heat, um, but. I collapsed at mile 16 for heat stroke, was in the hospital for seven days in the ICU, man. It's one of those things, you know, I wasn't going to quit. So I guess I, my body made me quit, but uh, mentally <laughs> I, I wasn't prepared to stop. Man, that's yeah. uh, so that's quite an experience. Have you run a marathon since then? I have not, but that was before kids. So I don't think um, the training aspect of it um, would allow it in the time commitment right now. Yeah. So one of the questions I've been asking people is about the time commitment and, and a handful of our guests are parents. Uh, and so balancing a full-time job or multiple part-time jobs with raising kids with still trying to be active so that one, you're investing in yourself, but you're also setting an example for those kids. How do you structure or make the time for these different things without overextending yourself? Yeah. I mean, so I make the time by, you know, five o'clock in the morning, uh, the workout, the workout me time that comes first. Um, then it's get the kids on the bus, get them off to school and work for me. But, um, most nights after work, I, they both play baseball, basketball, soccer. They go to a, like a cross training ninja gym. Uh, but I coach all three sports for them for both teams. So I'm, you know, I'm out of the office too, and I'm leaving the office some nights in shorts and a t-shirt and headed to the field or the court. So I can be there with them and their activities. I love that. So, okay. So what time do you crash at night? If you're up for a five o'clock workout, what time are you trying to hit the pillow? Oh, uh, during the week, hopefully, you know, 10 plus okay. most of the time. I mean, there's nothing after the boys are in bed at eight 30, there's really nothing drawing me to not being in bed. I guess it's more just like, I can't go to bed at eight 30. It's, I'm 
too yeah. old to go to bed at eight thirty, or I'm not old enough to have to go to bed at eight thirty. <laughs> Either one, whatever side of the spectrum yeah. you're on. Okay, so I have a question then. If you've always been this active, pushing yourself, getting better, what's one piece of advice you might give your ten year old self? Yeah, I saw that in the notes ahead of time, and man, that one is. So my son's nine, and I was like, man, the stuff he. He luckily will is a very good eater, but my my youngest son, who is six, is not. I I think he's me. It was like he's chicken tenders and no veggies. I mean, I didn't touch a vegetable till I was probably twenty five. <laughs> I mean, to compete in the way I did and to, to play college athletics and not have any nutrition, no knowledge of nutrition, no knowledge of recovery. I mean the time I ran my marathon, if I could go back and take that with that knowledge. Now, even when I was 25 to do that would, I mean, I could blow that out of the water. It's funny what we, we do when we're younger. I laughed that before football practices, I would have a Red Bull and like two donuts. And I was like, you know, buck 50, buck 60 playing, no big deal could go out practice. And I, I laughed. I was like, if I did that before, like a workout or a CrossFit wide, I would die right yeah, now. Yeah, it'd be, it's nuts. I mean, anywhere. you look, I look at that stuff now. I'm like, I can't put that in my body, let alone like right before or fuel myself with it. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So what do you want uh, the other competitors, the other everyday competitors in this community to know about you? What's one thing? Ah, um, let's see. The one thing is that just I'm there to compete. I mean, you can have a full-time job, you can have kids, but you can still make time for yourself. I mean, it's all, it's all priorities. It's not if, oh, I don't have time for this, I don't have time for that. You do have time. You just have to set that as a priority. I love it. How do you, how do you set those priorities? Do you time block on your calendar? Do you uh, have a journal notebook you keep with you? Or how do you block that off? I mean, I just have, so I do, the only thing I have on my calendar and the one thing that gets me into trouble every night about 8.45 or 9, I've got a, an alert that goes off and it's, it tells me not to start binging on some crap in the pantry, <laughs> some lunchbox snack, you know, or um, gorging on some Quest bars and just downing four of them at once, you know, just that's, that's my alert. Um, otherwise, the alarm set every morning for a certain time to get up and get to the gym. Uh, the community there, you know, that's my commitment to that. So that kind of holds me on that one. That's awesome. And then obviously you have the set times already blocked off with the kids at school and practices. And so it's getting from one place to another. I love that. Okay. So uh, what is a goal you are working on for 2019? Ah, so I am 35. So on 2019, I technically turn closer to 40 than I do 30. So oh, it's me. really just, uh, you know, staying and maintaining that shape and not letting that age, you know, I think you guys have a shirt that says age is just a number. So um, my boys wear that one themselves. I love so I it. That's my commitment. Yeah, it is just because you're young doesn't mean you can't get it done. And just that's because right. you're older doesn't count you out just yet. Matt, man, this is awesome. So if I were to ask you, what do you compete for? What is it? No, I compete for me. I mean, I'm out there. I want to prove everybody that I'm the best, that I can, I can beat you. I don't care. I mean, you know, you may be, I'm only five, seven. So uh, you may be bigger than me. Your arms might be bigger than mine, but uh, I've got, I'm quick. I'm strong. I've got the willpower. So I am out there and, you know, in my mindset, whether it's a competition or not, I'm trying to win everything. <laughs> I love it, man. I love it. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show this week. I know the Compete community is excited to get connected with you further. Uh, so look out as people are saying hi on the show. And thanks for being a part of all this. Awesome, man. I really appreciate it. Hey, my name is Matt McQuality. I'm an everyday competitor. Thank you for listening to the Everyday Competitor Podcast. Visit www.competeforyour.life to learn how you can get connected with other competitors, contact the show, and find free resources to help you compete every day in life.